Hey guys, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. These are projects made with some of the dies from the March 2024 release. I will have my referral link down in the description box. If you click on that and place an order at ScrapDivaDesigns.com, I get a commission, which does, doesn't affect your cost, but it helps me out my channel. So thank you so much to everybody who uses that. And I have a discount code, which is Strawberry Cream. If you use that at checkout at Scrap Diva Designs, I, uh, no, you get 10% off of your order. So uh, again, thank you to everyone who uses that. And yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to show you some dies. I've already made some projects with these and I will link those videos in the description box as well. But uh, I wanted to make a few more in different ways just to give you some more ideas on how to use your dies. So all of these products will be listed um, and linked in the description box as well. All right, so the first one I wanted to share with you is this one, which is the suitcase shadow box. And I went over all the dies you get with this before, but um, I did make a, uh, let me show you what I made, hold on. Okay, this is what I made before. If you remember this cute little shadow box with the sewing mice in it, and oh, I just love it. I have it on display in my craft room. I think it's so cute. So I wanted to make something more like um, like a book for, for this project. So I made kind of like a um, embellishment book, notebook kind of thing. And I made it in like a, a vintage kitchen-y theme. So I thought it'd be good to like add recipes or shopping list or coupons or something like that. So um, this is how it came out and uh, I will take you through it, but I think it is so adorable. I used some vintage inspired paper from Authentique and it's got all those cute little like Pyrex bowls and stuff on it. And um, I cut out the, the suitcase part out of some, I think this is basil cardstock from, from Joanne. So it's so easy to put together. I just cut out uh, a front and a back, and then the spine piece, which comes in the die set. And that's what it looks like all the way around. And I cut out an inset for the, for the, for the pattern paper. And then this is a piece of ephemera from the collection. And um, I added some charms here. And the one I love the best, that's a um, apron charm. And I thought the colors looked really nice with this and a cupcake and a bow with some bling on it. I glued some buttons onto the onto the handle too, mostly to keep this jump ring from sliding over, but um, I think they look nice too. And then I added some seam binding for a closure and this is from, I think it's my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. So if you take that off, let's open it up and look inside. So this is the inside, and again, very vintage-y, kitchen-y. And the pocket that I used on the front cover is from the Loaded Pocket Medium. And I think, yeah, I brought that over. So um, I've shown this before as well. The pocket part you can use in all sorts of different ways. So that's what I did. Um, I have the small, large, and medium, but the medium fit perfectly on the inside of this suitcase shadow box. So that's what I used. And on the inside, I put one of the little felt um, things that I made with the jam jars die. This is also new in Erica's shop. And um, I added some cute little heart some clips as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of space in there to add, um, you know, lots of different things. And I thought those would be cute as a gift. And then I had this little notebook in my stash. It had a different cover on it. Um, I think like a llama from Michael's. So I just covered it with a with a sheet of uh, scrapbook paper and just trimmed it to fit so it would coordinate with this project. And I just made this cute little cover as well. So the inside is just blank pages. I added some elastic. Uh, I tied it in the middle, punched some holes on the spine and strung it through. And that way when this is filled, you could just take it out and replace it. So, you know, just like when you're making a traveler's notebook. So that's that. Then on the back side, I added another pocket from the Loaded Pocket Medium, and I added a, a little pen. This is a little pen from Five Below. I bought a set of those. And then I had some of these like vintage recipe cards. These are from a uh, paper pad that I had in my stash. And then I did add some of my recipe cards. I um, offered this as a PDF. These are family recipes that I put in a, uh, a different recipe book. 
So if you did not get these and you would like these recipes, just shoot me an email, which is in the description box. I'll send the PDF to you. But there's lemon brownies, um, chocolate chip cookie pie, blueberry cake, and caramel pecan bars. So um, I thought, I, well, I was thinking this would be a nice gift, so I would add some of my recipe cards in there. And they do fit in there perfectly. And uh, yeah, just uh, the vintage papers and, um, you know, pieces of ephemera and that sort of thing. So I like the size of this because if you look inside, it fits those pockets perfectly along with the one notebook. So it's just nice and chunky, but not too chunky. And then the back, this is some uh, authentic paper, I think, too, that I just cut the inset from the die set and added my um, stamp at the back, too. So I think this came out really, really cute, just like a place to jot down recipes or, you know, a shopping list and put your recipes inside or coupons or whatever. So, you know, I like to make anything kitcheny. So that's my first project. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one was completely inspired by Jenny, who is Crafty Hilo Girl here on YouTube. Hi, Jenny, if you're watching. Um, she makes the cutest crafts using Hello Kitty and Sanrio characters and just really pretty things. And she made a project with these dies. This is the Flower Circle set. This is also from Erica's new release. And this comes with the uh, small and large flower circles. And then it comes with the layering pieces for both of those as well. And I have shown some projects with these too. But um, I wanted to make what Jenny did with the Hello Kitty theme. So I used these. And then I also used this die set. This is the bonus release from March. This is the scalloped Easter bag. So you can use these not just for Easter, of course. It comes with the bunny set, which I didn't use for these projects. Um, these are the ones I made before. I showed these as well. Here's one. And then the other one with the bunny is this one. So just to refresh you what they look like, they're really, really cute. So um, I was thinking, okay, so Jenny's project was really like light and airy and pretty, and I liked that. So I wanted to make my bags out of vellum. So I did that. I have some vellum in my stash, some just plain vellum. And this is one of the ones that I made. And it's just so pretty and simple, right? I, I like vellum bags because they're translucent. You can, you know, kind of see through them a little bit. I used some um, scrapbook adhesives, double-sided tape made specifically for vellum. And you could still see, you know, the, the glue flap, of course. But, um, you know, it, it does stick vellum together really well. And you don't see the glue marks itself. So I used that, and then for the for the flower circles, I used some like holographic gradient paper that goes from from like white to pink, and that's I think it's Sizzix brand I've had for a long time. And um, like what Jenny did, she didn't add any layered flowers on top, and I like the simplicity of that, so I did that. And then um, I just added I have these Hello Kitty stickers in my stash. They are from Five Below. They come in this pack. I don't know if they still have them. I I got them like within the past year so they probably do it comes with a whole bunch of sheets in there see that's what they look like so for this one I just glued on this well I didn't glue on I just used the sticker adhesive and stuck that on and then glued on the flower circle on around it and I think it's just so pretty you can see all this stitching detail on the scallops and I didn't add anything else I just wanted to keep it really nice and simple and I think it's just such a pretty little bag you know so I did that one and then I did this one as well. This one I just put some like iridescent shred in it just to show you what it would look like. And it looks like it kind of glows from within, I thought, right? It's so pretty. I love this like pink and white Hello Kitty milk sticker. Did the same thing with the paper. This one I use more of the white side because there's more white in the sticker. This one I use more of the pink side of the paper. And it looks so pretty. And then as I was making these, I was watching the polka dot pine cone, Monty. Hi, Monty, if you're watching. And she made a beautiful project with the Easter Bunny die set from Erica. And um, she used some, some pretty printed vellum that she had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And I thought, oh, yeah, vel you know, printed vellum. And I have some of it. But then I thought, you know what? I have digital papers. I could just print them on my plain vellum. And this plain vellum I got... Um, I don't know if they all are, but it's printable vellum that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. So I got that out 
and then printed out some of my digital papers on them and made a bag out of it. So this is what it looks like. And this paper is from, or this digital paper is from Arala Miha shop on Etsy. And it's very subtle. As you can see, it's a pink uh, floral paper. So if I do this again, I think I'd use more a uh, more bold pattern because when you use uh, translucent vellum, the pattern gets a little bit lost in there, but not too terrible. If you wanted to line this with something white, like I just have this strip of white paper, I think you'd be able to see it a little bit better. So let me just put that in there so we could see the detail a little bit more. Yeah, see? So, um, yeah, so, you know, your digital papers print out on vellum, too. And I ran out of my vellum adhesive. So I thought, all right, I'm just going to use what kind of tape I have and see how it works. And it works fine. I mean, you could see the glue marks a little bit more, but, you know, no big deal. And I used, let me just grab it, my uh, scrapbook adhesives. No scrapbook.com double-sided tape. And I love this tape. This is great. But I'm sure any double-sided tape you have would look nice. Um, I probably wouldn't use liquid adhesive because then you'd see the glue blobs and that's, you know, not that attractive. I think if you use the double-sided tape and just cut a long strip, you don't see, you know, blobs or anything. You just see the big long strip. So that worked out fine. So again, I cut out that flower circles. This is the smaller one, by the way with that iridescent paper, used another one of the Hello Kitty stickers, and you know, just constructed just the same as when you're using cardstock. You have to be a little bit more uh, careful when you're doing the folds on the score lines because it's a little bit stiffer, so you really have to pay attention to when you're folding, especially when you have the stitch marks right so close to the fold lines because it tends to want to fold on the stitch lines. So you just have to be extra careful that you get right on the fold line in, or the score line instead of the uh, stitching. So you just have to pay a little bit more attention when you're constructing this as opposed to the paper. But I think it's worth it because you have these really pretty vellum, um, you know, little treat bags. So I think these came out really, really cute. Thanks, Jenny, for the inspiration. And Monty, you guys always inspire me. That's why I love watching, um, you know, my fellow crafters. You inspire me. And I hope I do the same to some of you guys sometimes. So that's it for today. Oh, wait one second. I wanted to show you a bow I made. This is this also comes from the um, scalloped Easter bag die set. Uh, if the bunny comes with a bow you can put on them. And I just had some vellum left over, so I, I wanted to see what a bow would look like. And um, this is how it came out. Uh, I think it's really, really pretty. Just, you know, so nice and delicate. And I used a, um, you know, glitter uh, enamel dot there to, to center it. And it's so pretty. I'll save that for another project. But I wanted to show that to you because that bow is included. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My referral link and coupon code will be in the description box as well as links to all of these products. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, take care. Bye.